This is the academic test 2-1 review. We are preparing you to be successful on the academic test. So what do you need to know to be successful? First of all, you have to know how to turn a fraction to a decimal. So let's look at this. So you must know how to turn a fraction to a decimal. Let me get a pen ready. Alexander picked 11 out of 25 weeds from the garden. What is the decimal equivalency? Well, the fraction equivalency is 11 25th. So how can I write this as a decimal? It's 11 divided by 25. Which number goes inside? The top number, the numerator. So 11 divided by 25. I like writing out the patterns for 25 before I begin. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So can 25 go into 11? Zero times. And it's a zero. Can 25 go into 110? Yes, four times. And it's another zero. Can 25 go into 100? Another four times. We're done. So it's 44 hundredths. 44 hundredths. Number two, the table below shows the heights of different plants grown for a science experiment. So there are many ways you could have done this. You can turn it to a decimal. You can use common denominator. Which plant is the tallest? How do you know? So we're looking for the tallest plant. Well, some people like using common denominator. So what does 10, 2, 5, and 4 all share in common? 20. So how do you build 10 to 20? The relationship is times 2, so 620. 2 to the 20, the relationship is times 10, 10, 20. 5 to the 20 times 4, the relationship times 4, so it's 12. How do you turn a, build a 4 to a 20 times 5, 15, 20? So this number is the greatest fraction. However, there are some kids who may prefer turning a fraction to a decimal. How do you say this? 3 divided by 10, so it's 3 divided by 10. Can 10 go in 3? Nope, 0 times. It makes a 0. Can 10 go in 30? Yep, three times. So 0 and 30 hundred. Well, that's less than half. Half is 50 hundreds. So we know it can't beat that one. So this is so far the leader. 3 fifth, 3 divided by 5. Can 5 go in 3? Zero times. How do I get rid of this remainder? And x is 0. 5 go in 36 times. So 0 and 60 hundred. So that's the greatest. Then 3 fourth. Some of you may have memorized 3 fourth. 1 fourth is 25. So 3 fourth is 75. That is the greatest. If not, 3 divided by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Can 4 go in 3? 0 times. Annex is 0. Can 4 go in 30? 7 times, which is 28. 30 minus 20 is 2. Annex is 0. 4 goes in 25 times. So it's 75 hundreds. So next one, 3, 4. How do you multiply fraction? To multiply fractions, you multiply the numerator. 4 times 2 is 8. Then you multiply the denominator. 5 times 4 is 20. Now we need to simplify it. How can I break this down? Divide by 4. Divide by 4. That's where you get 2 fifths. Now number 4. How do you divide fraction? This is a mixed number. What do you need to turn this mixed number into? An improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9 halves. Then times, turn a division to a multiplication. Then do the reciprocal. What's reciprocal? Opposite, flipping it. Flip the second fraction. You're switching it. 4, 1. So 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times 1 is 2. Now we need to simplify. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. 1. 18. The answer is 18. Number five, multiplication. So there are many ways to do this. Some people see it as this. If I take away these decimal point, what two whole numbers do you see here? 864 times 214. So you multiply normally. 4 times 4 is 16, carry to 1. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25, carry to 2. 4 times 8 is 32 plus 2 is 34. Scratch, scratch, lay an egg. Some of you may have learned at elementary school. So we're done with these. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 8 is 8. 
Scratch, scratch. Lay two eggs. Two times four is eight. Two times six is 12. Carry to one. Two times eight is 16 plus one is 17. If you add all of these numbers up, 14 plus four is 18. Carry to one. Three, two, eight plus one is 15. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 1 is 14. Carry to 1. But where does the decimal point go? It goes 1 place, 2 places, 3 places. We jump at 3 places. Right there. Another way you could have done it is estimating. This is close to 90. 90 times 2 is 180. Is this number close to 180? So that's how you could solve sometimes the answer through estimation. Now, now it's division. So it's 6 and 2400 divided by 2400s. I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like really dividing by decimals. So I'm going to turn these to whole numbers. What place value is this? Hundreds. What place value is that? Hundreds. So if I multiply by 100, tenths, hundred, that's 24. Tenths, hundred, 624. Is this just a regular division problem? Yes, as you can tell, it's a regular division problem. 624 divided by 24. 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, and 144. So using this, you can see how I divided it. Can 24 go in 62? Two times, which is 48. 14, bring down the 4. It goes in 6 times. That's why the answer is 26. Number 7, 8, 9. How would you write this fraction as a division problem? 5 divided by 8. Now, how would you put it in here? 5 divided by 8. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So now we have to divide. So as you keep on dividing, you see the decimal equivalency is 625 thousandths. 10. You will have to know how to graph points. So this is called the origin. Origin is like the home base. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. When you graph points, you always start with the x-axis, then you do the y-axis. So which order pair represents the location of the hiker? Right here. So let's see. I have to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And this is just a little past negative 3. So let's look at it. It can't be negative 2, negative 1 half. No, I don't think it's like, oh, we're done. It's that one. And then you go up one, two, three, four and a half units. So that's the only one that is closest to the answer, A. 11, if you 45 is multiplied by M, which value will give me a product that's less than 45? So if I multiply 45 by one of these fraction, our answer will be less. Three halves. So that's like saying, here's halves, three halves, but that's more than one whole. 3 tenths, cut into 10 parts. And I shade in 3. That's part of it. You're finding part of the answer. I think it's going to be B. 8 cut into thirds. And now I need shade in 8 of them. 3, 6, 7, 8. That's more than a whole. 5 halves, cut in halves. That's more than a whole. So it's B. Let's check our work. 45 times 3, 10. Right? 45 is a unit fraction. 45 times 3 is, 45 times 3 is 135 divided by 10. That's way more than 45. That's like, that's a lot. That's like, um, wait, let me see if I did this correctly. 3 tenths. 45 times 3 is 15 carried to 1. 135, yeah, 135 divided by 10. And sorry, 135 divided by 10 is 13 and 5 tenths which is less than 45. Number 12, which statement is not true? Not true. The result of dividing 18 by one-third will give you the equivalent to one-third, 118 times 3. No, it's not. To do a dividing, you have to do the reciprocal of one-third. So it'll be 18 times 3. So we know that's one wrong. That's not true. So the result of dividing 1 fourth by 1 12 is 3. So you times it by the reciprocal, 12 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. That's true. 
you multiply by the reciprocal 177. That's true. The reciprocal 5 thirds is 3 fifths. That's true. A is A. You do the reciprocal. Flip only the second number, not the first. And that is our review. Good luck on your, please study this, and good luck on your review for test 2-1.